Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we'll be installing a phone holder inside our Jeep. I find it really hard to find a good secure place for my phone um, and probably like everybody else that's watching this video, I've gone through all those like shitty plastic ones that always like suction to the windscreen or like suction to the plastic and they never stick. As soon as it gets hot outside they just fall off and then you're left with no phone holder. So I was trying to find one that's universal uh, for the Jeep JK, but universal in the way that I can mount other things to it, like the GoPro, uh, maybe a UHF radio, something like that. But if I th everything I found either didn't look good, it just wasn't usable. A lot of things kind of like attached to um, either these grab handles or attached like to the air vents, which suck and they never work. You never um, change your air vents, stuff like that. It always sucks. I'm sure everybody else has had those before. If you have. Comment below what ones you've had in the past and tell me if they suck or not. I'm sure they have. So I was searching through Amazon and thanks to you guys, whoever has bought stuff through all my Amazon links down the bottom in the past, has actually paid for this phone mount. Um, this phone mount was is 39 US dollars, so not Australian. I think it was like 52 Australian dollars. Um, it was 39 US, so if you guys do live in America, awesome, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, it was 39 US 50 something Australian and what we've got is this beautiful looking phone mount so that's like the bracket of it I think that looks absolutely insane for what it is it's made out of steel it's got the cool little rigid parts on the back of it um, and it just bolts from underneath and then you've got a adjustable head there and that's also steel as well with just like a clamp on the back of it and that's 360 you can either rotate it have your phone facing that way or that way whatever you want which is awesome for 39 bucks um that's a little bit wobbly so it's it's not the best quality i mean phone holders can go up to like 100 dollars for like jeeps and stuff like that 39 bucks or 52 dollars australian whatever you want to call it it's actually really it feels like really good quality um no mounting hardware so this one actually you need to take this top piece off the interior of your jeep and there's like two bolts eight uh seven mil bolts behind this that holds your radio in so all you need to do is remove this, which I kind of already did. If you've got a prying tool, you can do it a little easier, or you can just kind of force it like I did. Without hopefully not breaking anything. Ooh, there we go. So that's up. So all you need to do is remove these two bolts there and there, kind of secure your radio in. That up somewhere. Don't know what the hell that thing's for. Anyway, seven. And just so you guys know, I've got a link down in the description below if you guys want to check this product out on Amazon. One and two. Sold that up. So what I'll end up doing is actually mounting a UHF to this and then these, that bracket, if I can can't put that out of the way for the time being, should line up with these holes somewhere there. So it tucks nicely underneath like the actual um, top console itself. There's like a rugged ridge one that actually replaces this whole top part. Didn't mind that. Um, I just wanted something that I can mount other things too. Which I think this one's going to be very universal in that fact. Uh, that way I can get like other um, mounts and stuff either for the GoPro which I've just got it mounted um, there at the moment uh, which I can probably get something for here. Or someone to mount the UHF there as well. Oh, listen to that steel. Sounds cloying, don't it? So just tighten these down. Pretty easy install. This is probably taking me, I don't know, four minutes so far. There's there. And it's kind of pulling it up at the same time as I'm tightening it down. So it gets a little bit higher. If you can see that go up. Really like how it tucks nicely behind everything. I think that's a really nice feature of it. And it sits high as well. I hate things that sit too low, like those ones that connect to your um, events so that's that 
We'll put this back on. A little bit tighter. That's right. Yeah, that's kind of getting in the way. Alright, so all I did there was kind of tilt it back if you guys are having trouble with it, and that will allow that to go forward. And you get back in. How good does that look? Then, supplied, you got our mount. And an Allen key. So that clamp there just opens up with like a little Allen key that they provide you inside the box. Yeah, nice and tight. You can always adjust that back and forth if you want, if it's not quite in the position you like it. Right now I've kind of got it just off centered and that way that can either adjust up and that can rotate 360 as I said before. So you can either have, to have it facing up or down. I think I prefer it like so. So when I'm driving, it's like that. Or you can have it face the other way, depending on how you want it. Really like that. Nice, out of the way, sturdy, definitely ain't going nowhere. Probably moves just a little bit with me shaking it quite hard. Phone's not moving anywhere. That's nice and stable. Or the mount, it's got like a little rubber mount there, which I really like to stop vibrations, which is really good. So when you are off road, it's not going to vibrate too much. I really like the cutouts of that, I think that looks really cool compared to like the other crappy plastic ones you can get off like eBay and Amazon and stuff like that. Absolutely hate the ones that connect to your vent, I think that looks absolutely sick. And for the price of it is, it's pretty damn good. Easier to install, probably took, I don't know, six, seven minutes. If that, all you got to do is if we said, pop that off, undo the two bolts, connect it up, and it looks pretty good. So that's all for today guys, if you like this product, if you want this phone holder for your Jeep, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you guys want to buy it, buy it for that link, that way I get, I get like a little bit of a rebate, that way we can buy more Jeep parts, we can continue making more videos, which would be sick. But if you like this product, link down in the description, let me know in the comments below what kind of phone holder you guys got in your Jeep. Maybe it's those shitty ones that attach to the windscreen, maybe it's ones that attach to your air vents, maybe you're not using a phone holder, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. But I'm really happy with this product. I'd probably rate it for the price and the quality so far without actually using it for a long period of time. I'd probably rate it a solid 9 out of 10. So with saying that, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button down below. We'll just let YouTube know you guys want to see more of these videos and we'll let other people know to watch these videos as well. So please hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button as well. And if you do want to, turn on the notification bell and that way you get a little beep, a little ding ding, every time I upload a brand new video. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.